Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to warm up the car first thing first because it's cold as shit, bro. Um, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody doing well. My gauge was acting a little crazy the other day, so I want to make sure it still works. Like the other day, it wouldn't like do nothing, it, like froze. So like, it looks good now. Shout out to P3. Haven't had any issues. Pretty uh, solid investment, I guess you can say. It tells you everything. Like, I mean, let me show you guys. I already showed people before, but boost, um, coolant, shows you everything ignition your throttle response your you know your shifts and your speed you can do a zero to 60 tests and all that good stuff battery uh, i'll keep it on boost but yeah hope everybody day is going well it's a nice cold day out here in the east coast um somebody reached out to me and asked me if uh, he think it was worth it to do the uh, dsg flash for your audi s4 um now is it worth it definitely 100 percent worth it because i'm stage two plus and if you're planning to go further than stage one stage two you definitely want to go ahead and do the flash because uh um it really helps the car dial in the shifts the launches and the timing and i believe if you go further than stage two plus it is required to do the dsg flash it is part of stage two or stage two plus um, I actually did it when I was stage one, so I can't really say. Um, I completely skipped stage two and went to dual pulley from stage one, so um, my situation is a little bit different than everybody. Um, but yeah, it really helped me out stage one. So I, before before the flash, the tune or whatever. I did notice that it have like a little, you know, lag to it, and, and you know, it's not as sharp as crisp. Um, still ships great for a dual clutch transmission. You definitely, it definitely ships a lot better than your um, normal automatic vehicle that you see out here in the streets. Um, but what the uh, tune and flash, what it does is kind of helps the ships uh, hold more power. Um, brings up the RPMs, the range, and you know, basically, you know, maximize the performance and uh, ACU for your car and, and whatnot. Uh, I'm also flashed by 034, so they they have a lot of uh, little perks and options in their packages that they offer. Uh, so I mean, go ahead and check them out if you want. Um, to me, personally, I feel like. It helps the DSG mechatronic and all that stuff too, um, especially when you're you're tuned and you know running more power in the car, pushing it and all that good stuff. Cause a lot of people like beat the shit out of their cars. So with the tune, I feel like it actually helps your transmission and everything. So uh, you know, definitely look into it. I mean, it all comes down to preference. You don't really have to do it if you don't want to, but. If you're gonna go further than stage one, stage two, you're definitely gonna need to do it for sure. Like it's like instant snap, instant shifts. Down shifts are like instant as well. If you guys watch my videos and stuff, you know there's like a lot of times where I do pulls and I really have a 
car down in. I try to do everything that kind of helps the car down in from trains, engine, suspension, to everything. You guys can kind of see how well how well that handles right there. gets old like it never gets old you can never get tired of this car See what I'm talking about? See 
it really helps especially up top when you're uh, uh, I think my shift range is like 72 7300 rpm and I know it's not like high high but for this car and what it does and what it is that's 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 pretty great you know what I mean pushing the car too hard lately so I'm not I'm trying to take it a little easy I'll give you guys a feel more push the downshifts are like instant as you guys can see like just goes is what it is.